Hey guys, it's always so exciting to open a kiln, right? A glazed kiln. So let's get right to it. Um, all right, so gonna go through my combos like I always do. So I tested out Cosmic Tea Dust by Amico on the Laguna 60 Speckled Clay. Check that out. Very sparkly. And so that was an impression that I made. I threw the cup, the mug, and then I put a, um, a leaf from my garden right on it when it was leather hard and kind of like gently pushed it in. And then I went over that with watered down black underglaze and then wiped it back to catch the veins. And then I wax resisted it and then just did three times of this cosmic tea dust. I really like it on this clay body. I'm happy with that. It's pretty cool. All right, so we have those. Um, this was a refire, a reglaze. It was originally, the first time, Deep Sienna Speckle by Amico, three times. And then it was Amico's Seaweed. And then a really heavy, globby rim of, of Aventurine by Amico. But I thought it was kind of ugly. I don't know. I was going for like fall. So then the refire was a big experiment. And I added Mako eggplant over it. And what else did I add? Um, Spectrum's Autumn Purple. And then I did a rim of Dark Flux around the rim, which I just got for the first time. I've never used Dark Flux, so. I don't know. It's interesting. I, it, you know, it made it more fall-ish, I think. I don't know. I wanted to dull down this orange color. But what do you think of that refire? Okay, so I've had some bad luck with my colored clay, unfortunately. Um, everything is fine except for the green colored clay turns brown. And I tried Zinc Free Clear and it still turned brown. And this is on raw clay. And you can see the brown, it's not horrific, but it wasn't what I was going for. However, I do like this combo a lot, which I have notes on the other one of what it is. So this is on B mix with, you know, the colored clay mixed in and it's one and a half times pearl white by spectrum. And then it's one and a half times um, of Sapphire Float by Amico. And when I say one and a half times, it's like one good coat and then like, and then like another one, like halfway down, you know, very light. I really like that combo and I like what it does on the inside at the bottom. So that's a good um, experiment with glaze that, that that's a combo I'll use again. Um, so this, this is another colored clay. It should have been the, you know, green, but it turned brown and it has a clear coat over it. The inside, um, I actually experimented with uh, Mako Stroke and Coat 
green thumb. I did it three times and then I did three times honey flux over that just to see what it did. Uh, it's okay. I'm not in love with it, but it's decent. Just, you know, the brown. What are you gonna do? This is how we learn, you know? Okay, so we did those. This is, these are a set of tumblers that are the blue and the purple colored clay. I like those. Those are interesting. These were a test combo as well. I'm always testing new things. I don't know if you can see. I was going for beachy, but it really turned out to be like winter snow ice or something, which is perfect. Um, so this is Just trying to make sure you can see this up close. This is Amico Snow, about up to here, three times of snow. And then I tried Spectrum Soft Aqua for the first time. And I only did two coats around here. Um, and then a third just around the rim and they slightly overlapped. And then I added a nice big band of flux, light flux. Hopefully you can see this, I don't know. That's what it looks like on the inside. So those are the, those. This one I love. I'm, you know, experimenting with this soft aqua. Um, so the bottom is Mako sandstone. I probably went to right where the handle is with the sandstone. I did three coats and I made sure to get those little chips that are in the glaze container because those are your crystals that make that like drippy black spot and then i did um soft aqua to where they meet and slightly overlapping and then i also added a band of flux where they meet right here light flux and i really really like this combo So that's that. All right, and then I did um, these for a client. They're, they live on the, the water, so I was trying to go nautical. Um, all right, so this is snow, Amico snow, um, to about here, same thing, goes right to like the handle. Three times of that, then I did uh, Laguna Power Turquoise all around three times where, this, where it meets the snow. And you can see the Power Turquoise like right here. That's what it looks like on its own by itself. Then I did some Blue Rutile, just some random, you know, little swipes. Um, and then I also did a line of flux on the rim, a little bit of seaweed from Amago, and then instead of flux down here to merge the two, I did 
one pretty heavy coat, a line of um, Spectrum soft, soft White because it runs a lot, but I really thought it would run further down than it did. So I'm not sure if I'll like refire these. And then the rim, I put a like a tiny just line around the rim of Ancient, um, Ancient Jasper by Amico. So that's those. Just mess up those. Oh, and in the inside, I did soft white instead of snow because I wanted it to ooze and drip more, which it did. All right, so that's that. Um, I did colored clay. I just was playing around with yellow on B-Mix, this little set here. Let's see if you can see it up close. That's just the colored clay. Then the inside I tested out um, Honey Flux with seaweed. And I kind of like that. It's simple, it's a pretty green. So that's just these little cute little tumblers. Um, here's another colored clay, duty brown. <laughs> uh, that's okay. It's all an experiment. I feel like life is an experiment, to be honest. So there's that. And on the inside, I did, um, it's interesting. I did Spectrum Soft White with Frosted Lemon. And, like, it just all turned white. There's really no Frosted Lemon in there. And I did, like, three heavy coats. So that's that. Really not much to see there. Um, these are just purple tumblers. It just got, the clay just came, the purple is just a little bit on this one. It's a little baby. Those are interesting. That's, I just did clear. It's nothing fancy. Those are cool. Oh my God. So I was channeling my 12 year old self making these. I don't know. And again, the colored clay was supposed to be green, not brown. And then I did all these like transfers from Elon transfers, just playing around, seeing what things do. Um, and then on the inside, I put a little B. And then on the inside, I just did a uh, stroke and coat, three coats of green thumb, thinking it would pick up on the green that was supposed to be like in the mug, but. So that was mine, and then this is Matt's. So I made his blue on the inside, which is Stroke and Coat Caribbean Blue, just three coats. With all these transfers. The transfers are fun, you know? Ah, whatever. So those are that. Um, I also, this colored clay is raw, 
it was supposed to be um, like a red. Not at all. Maybe had I done a clear coat, it, it would have made the color come out, but even still that red turns like a really light, like purple in a way. They're not terrible though. I mean, that's just pearl white. Okay, um, these were a refire. So this is um, Autumn Purple from Spectrum, Pearl White from, from Spectrum, and then one time on the refire of Mako Sandstone around the rim. And it's just like a raw transfer. Raw clay, I gotta sand it because it's hard, um, rough, but. So I was testing out um, a new glaze too. Uh, this is a soft uh, satin matte black finish on this brown speckled clay. Just wanted to see what it, what it does. And then on the inside, I, I put three times Cosmic tea dust on top of it, on top of the black. You can't really see how sparkly the um, cosmic tea dust is. In person, it, it is. Like, wonder if you can see these better now. Or the sparkles. Okay, moving on. Um, these are super cool. I like how these came out a lot. This is a set of pearl white. And I'm t I tried a new glaze called Forest Green from Spectrum. And what I did was I did the two and a half times of the pearl white around here. And then I did alternating the forest green. I did one heavy coat and then another alternating uh, with power turquoise by Laguna. And I just did that around and it created this beautiful result. This I'll do again for sure. Look how beautiful that is. Love it. Um, this is my nautical line. Boo, that sucks. It's okay. We'll grind it down. But this is, um, Pearl White and Norse Blue from Pearl White and then Norse Blue from Mako. What do you think? So those. Now I have a bunch of my just regular farmhouse line, which is just the pearl white on its own. I made a bunch of these mugs for actually a client, not a client, my financial person who like wants to buy mugs for her clients. So I'm making a bunch of these. And I think it's easy because it's one glaze and I can probably duplicate this many times. And they're just so pretty. I think so. So I have a bunch of those. Those came out really good. Um, they're all right here. OK. 
Okay. Next order of business. Let's see. Um, hmm. So I made this. I wanted to try something new. So here's what I did. I did three times pearl white on this speckled buff clay. And then I did stripes. So from the center, it's a pretty big piece. From the center, I did three times of that forest green over the pearl white. Then this is blue rutile. So forest green, blue rutile, Norse blue, an indigo float. I mean, I think it's kind of interesting, especially if you're going to put this on like a stand as decoration. I don't know. Just wanted to try something new. So that was that. This is another big bowl with the pearl white. It kind of looked like a heart that it made when I took it out of the kiln. I mean, I didn't even plan that. How cool is that? Love it. Oh, so exciting. I thought this came out cool even though it stuck to the kiln shelf. So this is um, B-Mix, and I, I threw this on the wheel and then altered the rim, and then I gently put a doily and pressed that into the center. And then on the bottom of this is that soft aqua, and then on the rim is manganese wash, by Mako, one kind of heavy coat of that, clearly. Um, and then I did, per, um, sorry, soft white over the manganese wash to about here where it touches the soft aqua. It ran a lot, like on the back, it ran onto the foot. Oh, this one. But it's very cool, that manganese wash. You don't need a lot. i probably do less next time. But isn't that kind of interesting? What do you think? I'm gonna have to grind the feet. I'm not gonna have to, Matt will, because he's a nice man. Okay, so that's that. Here's a test piece if anyone's interested. Um, this is just forest green from Spectrum on BMX. I just wanted to have like a test tile of it. Let that shit go, okay? It's true. So that, oh, want to see something super interesting? Somehow I ended up with a cone 06 glaze, a low fire glaze. I don't know how I ended up with it. It's called Pink Blush. So I fired, I threw it on like a little whatever and fired it to cone six, not 06. And it came out like cool, like I can use it. It's like a pale pink color. Interesting, right? It's like salmon-y almost. So that, that was good. Um, these are a refire as well, which they didn't come out as good as I would have liked. The original glaze on this was Cactus by Spectrum. I had three or four generous coats. This glaze called Cactus doesn't move at all. Like it really doesn't. So I put on three good coats of pearl white over it. And it still didn't move. 
but the pearl white kind of ran. So you live and you learn. Okay. Here's another colored clay. This is the red, okay? That turns like pinky, pinky, whatever, light lavender maybe. And then I mixed in purple, like a dark violet and got that. It's so interesting to me these colored plays, and then I just did soft white on the inside. So there's that. I have another refire here. This was in one of my last videos, this piece, the, uh, my last kiln opening actually. It was a dark, uh, like I had obsidian on here, and seaweed, um, and it's on black clay. So it was just dark and I wanted to brighten it up. So I added um, two heavy coats of pearl white. And then I did some sandstone around the rim here, which didn't really show up much, but the pearl white brightened it right up. So there's that, we're almost done here. Okay, these are the ugly tumblers. I'm just gonna say it because they are. But I do like the inside. So this was a test combo of three times of um, honey flux on the inside. And then I did two times power turquoise by Laguna on the top inside. Then just beneath it and overlapping, I did uh, one heavy coat of Norse Blue by Mako. And it did that. Same thing on this one. All right, um, here's another honey pot that I made. Getting better at these lidded jars. This is um, Ancient Copper, three times by Amigo. There is Marigold by Amigo and there's fl Light Flux. There's the gallery and the marigold inside. Huh, not my favorite combo, but I don't know. Matt suggested it. <laughs> it's okay. It's cute. So that, uh, this isn't really worth showing because it looks like a two-year-old did it. Um, and because of that, like, green clay in all of these, there's, like, this brown hue throughout. So, I don't know. Look at this handle. Come on. Can we laugh? Hi, I'm 12. So, oh, and then I have all these um, ornaments. I, ha I made all these, like, stars and stuff, this leftover slab. So I'm gonna hang these on a string, but check it out. I rolled texture into these. And then I put, what was it? There's a red stroke and coat that I have. I forget the name of it, um, but it's very red. And if you like it, ask me and I'll find it. Um, but then on top of that, I did the Cosmic Tea Dust. I mean, that'll be really cute, like hanging from a string um, on a Christmas tree. 
uh, yeah, I glazed both sides, so I'll I'll whack these little things down with a sander. But I just thought those were really kind of cute. Then I made a bunch of um these were all the colored clay leftovers from a slab. So I made a bunch of butterfly ornaments as well, just cookie cutters. And just glaze them in clear over this colored clay. So you get the picture. There's a bunch of them in here. Um, whoops. One broke. That's okay, too. I wasn't in love with them. And then lastly... We have just some um, transfers I was playing around with just to kind of experiment and see what they did on this clay body. So that, and then the, the yellow didn't really seem to, the pattern is a little washed out on this clay body, but it's good to experiment, see what works, what doesn't. Show the good, the bad, the ugly. And then again, these are little plate, ring plate dishes I made out of the colored clay leftovers. There's a bunch of these too. What do you think of all of this? I'm super curious. There's that. So I've got I've got a stack of these here. And that's it, guys. That, that was this film opening. I think I got everything. Um, thank you for watching. I'd love to hear your comments and like see what you like, what you didn't like. Um, and I can't wait to do it again. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.